Hello, my name is Tony Kaiser and I'm coming from the University of Wisconsin-Madison. We are out at Sikarpa Village. We got here yesterday and all the kids lined up with flowers to welcome us and it was really, really nice. Um, I'm with a bunch of other students from the University of Wisconsin and some Nepali students um, to participate in Shramadana. Um, so we are going to help the community build a school so that um, more of the kids here can go to school. Um, it's part of the Global Health Program at my um, university, so I'm really excited to be here. Um, when you come to the village, you stay with the host family. Um, they treat you really well. Um, we've each had our own Nepali student partner as our translators and buddies um, so that we could communicate to our host families. Right after we uh, arrived at the village and you know, got settled down, we uh, did a hike. and We walked along, uh, walked down the valley and we saw, you know, we saw, we got to see the village from a different perspective, but we also saw the mining, uh, the mining uh, operation right now. And uh, it's kind of sad that they're literally tearing down mountains to, uh, to harvest the rocks and build concrete. We, ha we have group discussions every night. Um, and in our group discussion, we we're talking about how, you know, what is the, what is development? And it makes us question it, you know, is, is development worth it because we're destroying these mountains and we're destroying their lands and destroying their culture uh, just so they, they can become like us with a Western style living with concrete houses, like not, not relying on more traditional uh, and more, um, more local materials. That was so sad, so breathtaking and hard to see the development happening in, for the city taking away from the life here. Um, development is great, but I feel like there's other ways, and the earth bags here are one alternative. Um, so it's wonderful to be part of that process of the sustainable building and finding alternative ways to help communities develop. Basically, all this morning, we've been working with earth bags, um, basically sort of like burlap sacks filled with dirt. We have a group of people working on digging and a group of people working on filling the bags and then another group working on sewing them shut and moving them um, into a big pile. And there's also some Nepali people working on um, laying the foundations for the rooms. So uh, that's what we've been working on today. <laughs> I'm stitching the dirt bag shut. It's good. It's not too hard. It's just really hot outside. <laughs> The, the women have really inspired me here. I, um, I admire my Didi and my Ama. They, they never, I never see them resting. Uh, the little kids in the village are really inspiring. Yesterday they came down here with their little pails and they were helping us collect rocks and haul dirt and um, you know it's hot out here and we're all kind of moving slow and getting a little bit cranky and the whole time that they were helping they were giggling and laughing um, like it was kind of a treat to be down here helping. It was really great. <laughs> the coolest part about it is seeing the people from the village come down to help. Uh, it's not just us coming in and doing all of the work, it's really a community effort. And uh, that was really shown last night when we had a uh, kind of like a cultural talent show. And uh, uh, there was a huge turnout from the village. So, you know, you could really tell that they were interested that, that we were here and that we were working with them, not for them. Uh, and it's just been really great. Um, yesterday I had two, uh, or a couple of Nepali girls came up and wanted a couple of American girls to dance uh, an, a traditional Nepali dance with them. So. Tamara and I agreed to do that. Uh, we only had about an hour to practice and learn the moves, and it didn't go perfect for me, <laughs> but it was really fun. Since I arrived in Chikarpa, it's really been an amazing cultural experience. I've never experienced anything like this before. Um, the it's a bit hard to uh, leave just <laughs> the beauty of the village, all the hills, um, the baby goats um, buying outside your window every morning. Um, 
I don't know, it's just been a really amazing experience. Um, from building the school to talking with the families. I'm just really happy I came and it's been an absolutely wonderful experience. <laughs> it was uh, almost too much to take. It's um, hard to explain the emotions that you have, but um, it's really been a, a life-changing experience.